That's a nice camera. Update! What you, not, not the much, man. Daniel McCune. Doing some uh, some Beat the Street stuff in Oakland. Just finished my camps. So we had uh, Mike Mall come out with Flo and do some video stuff and teach some technique. And then, um, actually, you know who came out and showed some similar misdirection stuff was good old Ch Big John Heffernan from St. Ed's. Really? Yeah, man, he's cool. That's and, awesome. And then we had Joe Heskett and Gene Mills. Was so. Perry there? That's he Perry. Perry, Perry went down and he was a clinician at Cormier's camp. So oh, that was Cormier's camp. There's yeah. so many camps going on oh, right now. Oh man, it's it's been busy. It's a little bit oversaturated, but we're all I, I'm really psyched about the Beat the Street stuff because Cormier, Welsh, Borelli, myself, uh, Halverson, Joey Barang, a lot of the guys in the Bay Area are all kind of working together on the coaches committee for Beat the Streets. And uh, once we get rolling and get more curriculum down, uh, it'll cycle through the coaches committee to give them feedback and to provide um, so you've been working on this for a minute though like when i, I came out to the camp at your at, at, at your place what three four years ago maybe with uh lavalle and and uh munoz and and some other guys um talk about the process of getting that done and like you know just getting all these guys together i mean you got you got schedules you got red tape you got egos you got people not want other people in their backyard and you're you're just the dude trying to grow wrestling at the at the roots form you don't care who what where how uh, yeah so. good good you know good people wanting to do good work is basically what we've used to to you know figure out who we wanted to surround ourselves by and uh i actually connected about the same time you came out i got connected to jeff marsh and marsh had talked a little bit about what was going on with beat the streets national and uh and he kind of coached me up a little bit on patience i was not feeling very patient you're like time. me you're ripping and running yeah you want stuff I, wanted, tomorrow, done, I wanted done to tomorrow. go i wanted to go yeah. so he he's helped me over time kind of the big stuff that i wasn't familiar with like board development and you know donor retention and recruitment and stuff like that you know i i didn't worry about that at all i was like we don't have any money now and we're doing all kinds of good wrestling <laughs> stuff you know we'll figure out how to scrape together the pennies we need to make this happen um but with with national and with you know kira berry and some of the big people involved um you know uh the the guys out in philly and then and then actually we got connected to boston youth wrestling and bts cleveland and just the the collaboration and the interaction that's going on due to that national organization has really allowed us to kind of skip some steps of failure that we we would have needed to have to grow so because you went to new york and met with them yeah and, and kind of got coached up a little bit and big eyes open to, to what you were in for which yeah. didn't scare you yeah yeah it was you know and it's a different beast and it, and i think I, what i really like about beat the streets is that um each location is its own 501c3 entity but it's like a loose network of these these people trying to do good through sport and um being able to share your experience is hugely valuable to not making the same missteps and to knowing what ideas may be good or bad from others' experiences. So um, it took us a little bit to get to the place where we had all of that access. Um, but as we've got you know the right people kind of in that core group, in that board development phase, um, we've had a lot of support from that national body and from you know. Uh, uh, Barry and Modder and, and really Jeff Marsh, the guy on the ground. Right. Um, so that that helped us a lot. And then the Bay Area is unique, man. It's, you know, I uh, there was a lot of talk about doing multiple Beat the Streets here. There was a lot of talk about, you know, uh, where we should start, where we should focus. Um, I was always from kind of back when we talked that there should be one Beat the Streets. It should encompass the whole Bay Area and it should be an umbrella over everything. And that's still kind of what I'm thinking and how I feel and then now that we have a board they they're able to guide me um, to what what we need to do and then with this last fall Oakland announced Oakland Unified School District announced they were gonna cut all sports and that really um, lit a fire under a bunch of people and then when they started bringing sports back as they raised the money they needed to to uh, bridge that gap of the budget deficit they had wrestling was on the chopping block all the way until the last hour so um, being able to, to use that to help kind of 
uh, solidify the motivation of the board really helped. And then we went into Oakland this last year and uh, did two middle school programs. And then Oakland... You were delivering mats, I saw too, about six months ago. You were yeah, traveling well, around delivering mats. I've been real lucky, man. The people I've been working with over time with my programs in Sunnyvale, you know, they're good folks and they come to bat, you know. Um, uh, uh, California USA Wrestling loaned us two mats for Oakland and then uh, we ended up bringing them back to them and then we ended up actually purchasing a mat from Dolomir through California USA Wrestling you know and we, we've still got like a long way to go we're still looking for donors and sponsors and stuff like that but um we're we've got a, a solid foothold now in Oakland that we're going to expand upon we had two teams this last year I think we're going to do four in Oakland and one in Berkeley this next year and hopefully uh, I've been looking around for partnerships and space to maybe have an academy sort of program a lot like uh, Beat the Streets Philly and Beat the Streets New York have those programs as well so more of like a year-round club where we can um, provide more mentorship opportunities for the kids but man it's it's been fun um, we ended up having a little bit of kind of logistical issues with getting the kids to competitions. So I, I was lucky enough to just be able to grab some 15 passenger vans. We rented them and I just was the driver. So I drove up, picked the kids up in Oakland, took them where they needed to go. We ended up um, going to Half Moon Bay, um, going into the city, coming up here to the North Bay to compete. And it was so much fun getting to know the kids, getting to know kind of some of the school staff. Um, we have a program at Westlake Middle School in Oakland and those guys are awesome they've got an AD that's unbelievable an administrator that's that supports us really thoroughly the principal's great you know and if we can continue to develop partnerships inside that public school system um, and have just good people involved that are supporting our programming the amount of good we can do through the sport will be tremendous immense so. Man, I've been I've been watching literally from afar since I got to know you a while back, and your passion and your your energy you put in is is far beyond selfless, man. And I, I've always had a ton of respect for you and the way you go about stuff. And man, starting to get to see some of this stuff develop, man, it's, it's from a wrestling purist on my end, and the pains we've gone through in Georgia of just trying to get get on the map and get some respect over the years, and then seeing what you're doing even on a lower level than that with grassroots movement, man, it's pretty special. So. Uh, Man, we're going to keep in touch and uh, keep doing what you're doing, buddy. Thanks, man. Good to see you. Where, where can we find out more information about what you're, what you're doing? Uh, BeatTheStreetsBayArea.org is the Beat the Streets Bay Area website. And then my, my club, who knows, someday it may be, may be jump, joined in there. But SunnyvilleWrestling.com is our nonprofit, specifically in Sunnyvale, where I'm from. Um, but, yeah, those are the two main places we got stuff going on. Awesome, man.